Have you ever popped in an old cassette tape only to be greeted by a bizarre, high-pitched sound that makes you question your sanity? <laughs> What if I told you that the secret to this audio anomaly lies in a tiny spinning component called the capstan? Today we're diving into the world of cassette tapes to uncover what the capstan does and why your favourite mixtape might be playing at warp speed. First off, let's break down what a capstan actually is. What we're looking at here is a big flywheel and capstan and the capstan bearings, which is from an old vintage machine. You can tell it's a vintage machine because it's really big and chunky. We're now looking at one which is also from a vintage machine. You can see the actual shaft a lot easier. And here you can see another one which is slightly less chunky. So it's probably still a vintage machine, but it's not such high quality as the original first one. This little hero is a cylindrical part of your cassette player that pulls the tape across the playback head at a constant speed. Think of it as the engine that keeps your music flowing smoothly. Without it, your tunes would be a jumbled mess. But what happens when that capstan starts to malfunction? You might tapes are playing too fast, sounding like chipmunk on caffeine. So what causes this? There are a few culprits at play. One, worn out pinch rollers. These rubber components press the tape against the capstan. If they wear down, they can cause speed issues. Or two, incorrect tape alignment. If the tape isn't aligned properly, it can slip and lead to playback problems. It can be going fast or slow. Three, old tapes. Sometimes the tapes themselves can degrade, affecting how they play. I've got a video on my channel about what to do if you've got that problem. And when you're looking at the equipment, this is a Sony well, and this one is a Toshiba well. But you can see they're exactly the same difference. Uh, same things are in the same places, just slightly different. Whatever deck you have, and it can be pretty scary looking into them, you will always have virtually the same things, which is a motor, a belt, and some sort of flywheel and the capstan is attached to a heavy flywheel and so you can see on here this is one from a cassette radio and then we've got one here from a Toshiba cassette deck and they're all very similar you've got the motors and you've got the flywheels sometimes this is a more modern one you can see it's a very flimsy flywheel right, before we go any further I just want to make it absolutely clear that if the capstan system is working properly i.e. The motor is driving the flywheel and the flywheel is going round. It will be at a stable speed because the motor is working correctly. That capstan is the only thing that controls the speed of the tape. But if you've got a sliding belt, one that's a bit, a bit slack, it's not going to work properly. It's going to allow it to slip. If you've got anything else like the, the perished the pinch rollers, if they're not working properly, if they, I'll show you what they look like then we're going to get a problem. What you normally get with a capstan is you get either it's wows or it runs slow. That gives you an idea of what the problem is. It's nothing to do with the take-up spool or the supply reel because they only supply the tape and take up the tape. They are the ones that stop the tape from just piling into the machine. If you've got a problem with the tape playing fast and it sounds like it's under control, a bit like the music I played at the beginning, that means you've actually got possibly a motor problem. If it's running slow, it means you've probably got a belt problem. It's all fairly simple really. And if it's all over the place, it could mean you've either got a pinch roller problem or a tape problem. And tapes do have a habit now because they're 50 or 60 years old almost, they can be dry and not particularly happy in playing. One of the common problems is that the felt behind the tape falls off. That can give you a problem because it then goes all over the place. So one way or another, you've got to actually check the tape is okay. The simplest way to see if it's a capstan felt or a tape felt is to put another tape in. Obviously not if you've got one that's chewing because chewing tapes is a different problem and we want to, that's a different video. But just keep in mind, if the tape is not getting chewed and it's running slow, but you put another tape in and that runs fine, it means it's the tape that's the problem, not the machine. Sounds obvious when you say it like that, but you know, it can be confusing. Let's carry on. Random faults where things just stop. They're very often belts. 
and this happened. Now, the trouble with that is, of course, I've got I've got a tape in the deck, and I've got a deck that's not working. So I thought, good opportunity, take top off, find out what's wrong. I've got it switched on, and you can see there, there, that mechanism is working, which is the load and unload, but the main flywheel is not spinning. So that's that. But it's all coming off the same motor, so that has somehow seized. So just out of interest, I'm going to just see if what happens if I G it along. And there we go. So it's now doing something. Perfect example of how belts cause really weird, obscure faults. So next time you hear that your favourite cassette is playing at lightning speed, you'll know exactly what's going on. The capstan is a small but mighty component that plays a really crucial role in your listening. And it plays a crucial role in your listening experience. If you enjoyed this deep dive into cassette technology, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you've got comments or questions, put them down below. Catch you if later. you put questions in the comments, I will try and answer them for you point you in the right direction, hopefully help out.